I would like to present a case study on treating equine melanomas with cannabis oil based on my experience with my mare, Tori. Tori is a 16-year-old Pasafino mare who I have had from her birth and who is dearly loved by me. Melanomas blocking her rectum threatened her life. Cannabis oil gave her a second chance and helped heal her. Tori started developing melanomas under her tail when she was nine. The first was mushroom-shaped and was removed by a rubber band around the stem that cut off its blood supply. Three months later, it fell off and it did not grow back. Over the years, more tumors grew. Most of these were too flat to have a rubber band placed around them. They multiplied and grew, but did not appear to cause her difficulty for a long time. But in August 2016, that changed. Her tumor started to erupt, exuding a black tar-like substance that coated her silver tail and legs black. She struggled to pass single balls of manure and was in pain. You can see here the hole at the top of that tumor that is exuding the tar. On September 11, 2016, I had the vet out who could not do a rectal exam as it was filled with tumors. If this continued to worsen, we would have to put Tori down. Note the manure that is stuck in Tori's rectum in this photograph. The vet rubber banded the three tumors that had a mushroom shape, but most of the tumors could not be treated that way, and there was no solution. This tumor was one of the ones that was able to be rubber banded. I started treating these horrible tumors by washing them daily and applying cannabis oil to the clean, dry skin. This process hurt Tori, but she never once kicked me. Note the size of that hole from which you've got the black tar-like substance being extruded. A month after I began treating these tumors, the holes that had exuded the black tar substance started to reduce in size and the flow of material started to diminish. The rubber banded tumors were dying as well. This October photograph shows a uh, hole that is about half the size that it had been a month before. By October 28, the first of the rubber banded tumors fell off, leaving a crater behind. The other two are now wiggly, but still holding on. The top hole is almost closed up, but the one below is still exuding tar. You can see that there is no tar from the top hole, but the bottom one is still exuding a small amount of the black tar. The other thing this next photograph shows is the number of small tumors that have fallen off leaving small craters. The second rubber banded tumor is almost ready to fall off. By November 8, 2016, the second tumor that had been rubber banded falls off. The small tumors that fell off as well are starting to heal. The other thing to note is that by November 8, the overall size of the tumors is shrinking. At the base of the crater of the top tumor, you see yellow material that shows up from the broken stem. By December 2nd, after two months of cannabis oil application, Tori is now passing a full rectum of manure without pain, not simply a single ball at a time. By December 19th, even the larger crater is starting to fill in with healthy tissue, and the small craters are almost healed. By January 20, the tissue is looking much healthier, and the width of the overall tumor has shrunk. The big craters left from the uh, rubber banded tumors falling off had filled in with healthy tissue. By February 6, 2017, almost all the little tumors have fallen off and the craters are looking quite healthy.
On March 6, 2017, I noticed that the crease at the base of the tail seemed to be developing a sore. This was a worrying development. Looking closely, you can see the yellow mucus that was found when each tumor fell off, a sign that maybe another was growing. By March 22nd, it seems that the tumors are growing wider again and that the tissue is no longer looking as healthy as it had. The wrinkled skin in the April 11th photograph is dead tissue that I flake off over the next week or two, which allows me to apply the canvas oil directly onto live skin. By April 27th, the tumors seem better again, and the crack that had appeared at the base of the tail has disappeared. Perhaps getting to live skin helped. However, by May 24th, the tumors seem to be widening again, even though the tissue remains healthy. By July 18, it's clear that lesions are developing again at the base of the tail and the tumor is definitely wider. I'm worried that the cannabis oil is no longer working. On August 3rd, the vet came out to do an exam and she could put her hand completely inside Tori's rectum. The change from a year ago is dramatic. There were still tumors, but they no longer blocked her rectum and Tori could pass manure normally. By October 19th, the tumors are getting wider again and the lesion at the base of her tail is more tender. I start administering two to three cc's of cannabis oil by syringe daily in addition to applying cannabis oil externally to her anus. The lesions responded very quickly to the internal cannabis oil and they no longer showed mucus nor were they as sensitive to the touch. The tumor appears to be shrinking again as well. Some open questions. I don't know the variety of cannabis used to make the cannabis oil or the THC and CBD characteristics of the cannabis oil I was using. Research is needed to determine which are most effective in treating equine melanomas. My experience has proved, however, that cannabis can be used to treat equine melanomas, and it has given Tori a new lease on life. And us more time for adventures together. I'm releasing this video with the hope that veterinary colleges will do the research to discover how to effectively apply cannabis treatment to healing equine melanomas. These photos demonstrate the cannabis oil healed tumors on Tori's perineum and in her rectum, reducing their number, size, and sensitivity. Without its application, she would have had a bowel blockage requiring her to be put down. Equine melanomas can often be a death sentence for horses. I strongly urge veterinary colleges to study treatment of melanomas with cannabis oil and make it available to others.